DJ Pro 5.0 is finally here and with it we get the revolutionary new feature of Crossfader FX. In this video I'm going to show you everything you need to know on how to use it or if you're like me and don't plan on using it that much I'll show you how to make sure you don't have it on by accident. Alright so in order to find this feature you, it is available anywhere that the Crossfader is available so in pro mode, in classic mode, e even in starter mode or in the looper we can access it. So I'm just going to show you in pro mode so we can see the transitions with the effects and stuff. So over here is our crossfader. And if you guys remember from before the update, there was two kind of hidden arrows and that would automatically crossfade the tracks, but they have removed that. And we get one of my favorite things, which is one of these hidden drop down menus, which is right here. So we could press it. And now it might already be set to on or off. This is where you turn it on and off. So if you don't plan on using it and it's on, this is how you turn it off. Frost fader effects selected. So what these are is it uses, instead of the cross fader just slowly blending one song into the other, it is going to apply effects or apply EQs or manipulate the song in some way to assist you with doing a great transition. And it's also going to sync the tracks together. And then down here, we have the option of tempo blend on or off. This is going to help blend the tempo better. And then we could, we could adjust the transitions, either one bar, we could go all the way, all the way to zero bars. I like to keep it on two bars. That's what it starts on. And then we have a button down here. This is mix now. This does not turn on auto mix like you were used to doing before. This is just simply going to trigger the, whichever effect you have, it's going to just move the crossfader for you so you don't have to slide the crossfader. So if you press it, that is what, what's gonna happen. And now you saw how the filter moved while the transition was being made. That is because we are using the filter effect. So it applies a filter. So let me try to do a good transition with this, how I would do it. So I would let this song end, make sure this song is at the beginning. Now it doesn't choose where you're going to do the transition. It doesn't pick the right spot like auto mix would do. It, it just simply applies the effects, blend them together. So you still have to have some knowledge of basic DJing and you still have to have some knowledge of the track that you're playing because if you play playing songs with lyrics and stuff like that, if you switch it at parts that don't make sense, even though this is, is mixing for you, it's still not going to sound good and not going to flow good. So keep that in mind. It is not, it is not, it's just a tool. It is not cheating or anything like that you still have to practice and know what you're doing so i have the filter effect on and then i'm just going to show you you could see the filter being moved on the screen everything that's being done with these automatic effects is is still active and you can see what's going on So it did a, a perfect filter transition right where we wanted it to go. And then now let me just show you one more, which is the EQ, EQs. I'm not going to go through all of these and show you exactly what it sounds like, but I recommend that you select each and every one of these and hear what it sounds like before you actually do it live so you know what's going to happen. Same thing with the effects. I tell you guys to listen to every effect and every sample before you use it. So do that on your own time. So now EQs, so I'm going to have the EQs selected on the screen. You guys can see the EQs. Let's just do this again really There you go. Instead of having fun and turning all the knobs in order to get a perfect EQ blend, it does it for you. Now, I don't think this is a bad thing. It could free you up to doing more creative stuff and choosing the correct song and doing a lot of stuff. Just like with the sync button, all of these tools are just that. They're tools to, that you could use when you're DJing. 
don't be one of those people that think, oh, that's fake DJing. Oh, I'm not going to use that because this software works really well. They programmed it really well. So even if you don't plan on using it all the time, and even if you could do these transitions yourself, it's still a good idea to know how to use those. So now if we press the drop down menu again and turn it off, now we just have a regular crossfader and we could DJ the same way that we've always done. And then simply to turn it on, you're gonna press the, you're gonna click it on and then choose whichever one you want. And there are three Neuromix ones. I only DJ with Tidal Streaming Service, so I'm not gonna go over those because I'm not gonna use Neuromix any, anymore unless they bring it back with Tidal. So if you guys wanna learn more about the new update, check out this video where I go through all of the new features. Thank you.